Good morning, you two P troopers. Well, Steve-O here again. I know you're getting sick and tired of seeing me, but I just gotta, just gotta be coming back at you here, okay? Just get over it. <clears throat> now, listen, I just got my mowing done. The baby girls are happy. Just gave them three loads of hay. Put more hay out there in the circle. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk to you about. Uh, the vaporizer, the SD oxalic acid vaporizer. Yeah, little upgrade. Remember me talking in the last vid? Sick and tired of that noisy, smoky generator. Uh, it was pissing me off. It was pissing the bees off. They don't like the smell of them fumes. They don't like the sound of that engine. Either did I. Okay. Maybe, just a minute. Let me check something. Let me show you guys something. See this arm here? Well, let me get let me get this video in the holster here. See this arm right here? Let me clean it off. I'm getting real thin-skinned in my old age, okay? When you get my age, you start getting thin-skinned, okay? That's enough of that silliness. Now, I want to show you something here. We've got a little upgrade on the SD vaporizer, okay? I got her set up here. And what I did, I talked to my in-house, I have an in-house engineer, I don't know if you guys knew that or not, yeah. And, and whenever I hit, a, uh, most of the problems I handle myself, but when I hit a snag, I check with him to get a second, you know, second opinion on it. And uh, I told him about the generator, Do they? what about computer fans and all the shenanigans? He goes, well, do you like that... Uh, is that hairdryer performing for you? I said, yeah, works great, works great. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, 110, I'm thinking 12 volt. He said, well, I'll tell you what, get yourself, bring that hairdryer over here. I'm gonna plug it into my little tool tester. Let's see what the wattage is. Well, I did that and it was like 220, I think. He says, so you wanna double that. So go, go, go get yourself, he said, a 400 watt inverter and you'll be good to go. So guess what? Little trip to my favorite Harbor Freight. Love those people, all right? Here's what we got. Here's what we got, folks. Look at this contraption here. Centec. It comes with this two, two eyelet thing. You just, you know, a little short lead. It's not very long, but you, it doesn't matter. You're gonna just put this close to your battery anyway. You plug in. You've got an on-off switch here. And see, they got a green light here when it's on. I'm gonna kill it right now. And you just hook it, negative to, and positive up. And then here's my leads, my negative and positive for my uh, vaporizer. All right, so let's let's just fire this thing up. Let's load it, and, and, it, and you'll see it how I'm seeing it. All right, let's get over here and uh, tune this up. I'm just gonna put one scoop in here. That's about all you need. This is like a half inch cap, by the way. It's a copper sweat cap, is all this is. And this came with this cooker tool. Now I got this cooker tool, I told you before, I think, from the Fat Bee Man. I bought it years ago, but uh, th that's when it was just coming out. And that tool was, I think, a 195 shipped to the house. Uh, now I guess you can get them cheaper, but they were just starting out back in the day, so I can see where they were a little more pricey back in the day. But anyway, yeah. So I'm going to put one scoop in the funnel. That's it. See it down in the pan there? That's it. Done. Cover this dude back up. Seal it up. Put the lid on it. Not tight, just stick it on there. Don't have to be tight. I'm gonna come over here and plug in my uh, vapor or my uh, heating element. You'll see it arc a little bit, that way you know you're getting a connection. Okay, she's loaded. I'm telling you guys, this tool here, you're going to love it. It's so simple to build. It's stupid, okay? Very simple, cheap parts. Like I said, this thing cost me 
uh, uh, 20 bucks. And what you do is you go in here and take out that screw, take out that screw and that screw, take the thing apart, and you'll see two leads going into the heating element. The heating element is up in here. And they've got a, like a fiber, uh, an insulation, a heat barrier tubing over that. So you know which ones to go for. And just reach in and snip both of those, pull them back. There's a little sliding ring in there. Slide that over so it doesn't arc out on nothing. That's it. So you've disabled all the heat on this thing. All right. So, uh, yeah. So let's lift this up and see if we see smoke. We don't see smoke coming out yet. Uh, so you leave this off. What you're going to do, by the way, you're gonna, when you fire this thing up, you see stuff coming out the front end, just like you see right there now. You see it coming out the end? All right, now you're going to come over here, turn on your tool, like so, and hit this baby on high speed. Now the smoke's going that way. See that thing kicking out, folks? You do not want to get down one to this, and I'm just telling you guys, go get to Harbor Freight again. While you're there picking up this 400 watt uh, deal, look at that smoke in the air. Them are all oxalic fumes coming out of this thing, folks. That will kill every mite in your hive. It's going to kill the tracheal mites, it's going to kill the varroa mites, and it's also going to kill the uh, hive beetles. The high beetles will fall over dead. I, I just love this tool. Killing critters, you're killing all the critters except your bees. You're not going to hurt your bees. You're not going to hurt your baby larva. You're not going to contaminate any honey. Oxalic acid is a, is a natural product. Now you can see there, it quits smoking. It's done. Come over here. Disconnect your heat. Take your heat off of your tool leave leave this running because this was basically one one shot that I you saw me load is for one beehive yeah that's for one beehive but this is gonna speed up and so what you do is leave this run for just a minute or so that will cool down your plate if you want to while this is going to get ready for your next load, take your plug out. Yeah. And she's going to cool right down. Just give it a minute or two. Shut the dryer off. Shut that hair dryer off. Reload it with another scoop. Close it up. Wait for your smoke. Plug it back in over here. Your heat. You see smoke? Fire that up and blast your next hive with it. Now, my hives, like I showed you before in the last video, the um, the demo vid, I put, a, a, there's all my hives in Florida here. A lot of you boys up north probably gonna have solid bottoms. A lot of your commercial beekeepers have got more than likely solid bottoms. You're on four-way pallet like I used to run, where you can do everything with forklifts. And once you guys get into bees heavily and you decide to go commercial you're gonna have to use you're gonna have to use pallets it's called a four-way clip pallet but that's for another deal oh steve's a lot of commercial commercial i just do this as a hobby now because once you get into bees guys you'll always have bees and i've been doing this for 55 years so i just wanted to show you show you this guy so if i shut this thing off show you this little upgrade this is my final vid on uh, on the uh i'm gonna shut this thing off over here done yeah this big battery by the way is, like i told you before is one of my flounder bat batteries this thing is heavy duty it weighs, <laughs> it weighs about 80 pounds it's heavy so yeah I don't think you're going to need a big battery for this you could use a small car battery and do all this just fine so yeah, you guys want to build, speed up your uh, vaporizing uh, where you haven't got to cram the tool inside the hive and all that nonsense. You can just simply rig, rig like this and, uh, and get her done. Yeah. Now, if you guys want to go out and patent this whole thing here, 
that's fine uh, just send me royalty checks I'll leave a link below where you can start sending me money okay all right as, as always be happy guys I'll see you on the next vid bye bye